Today, we're going to identify fractions up to force. I love fractions, so let's dig in. What fraction of the shape is filled? So let's use our scratch pad here, and we can see our shape is somewhat of a rectangle. And if we look, there's one, two equal parts. So if there's two equal parts, the denominator or the bottom number of our fraction is the total number of equal parts. Then our top number of our fraction or our numerator is going to be the number of shaded parts. So in this case, it's one. So this piece right here is worth one half. And this piece is also worth one half. The question is asking us what fraction of the shape is filled. So this piece right here, what fraction does that represent? And that piece represents one half. So let's close that scratch pad. Let's find one half and go from there. So the next one is also asking what fraction of the shape is filled. So this shape looks very similar to our last one. However, it is split into a different number of equal pieces. Let's count. One, two, three, four. So there are four equal pieces in this shape, which means that our denominator is going to be four. And then each piece is just one of those four pieces, so it'll be one-fourth. So this piece is worth one-fourth. This piece is worth one-fourth. This piece is worth one-fourth. And this piece is worth one-fourth. The question is asking what fraction of this shape is filled. So if we look at which piece is filled, it would be this piece right here. So what fraction does that represent? Well, it represents one fourth or one out of the four pieces. So let's close our scratch pad, find one fourth, and that's right. What fraction of this shape is filled? Well, let's use our scratch pad again and let's count how many equal pieces are in this shape. Well, there's one piece here and two pieces. So there's two total pieces. So remember that's our denominator or the bottom number of our fraction. It tells us how many equal pieces. So there are two equal pieces in this shape. And how many is each one equal to? Well, one out of the two pieces. So this piece is equal to one out of the two pieces. And this piece is equal to one out of the two pieces. So what fraction of the shape is filled? So let's find the filled piece. Let's see what that filled piece is equal to. Well, that would be one half. So let's look, see if we can find one half. Nice work. What fraction of this shape is filled? Well, let's look here. There are one, two, three, four, five pieces. So this means our denominator or the bottom number of our fraction is now five. So each piece is worth one of the five pieces. So this piece is equal to one fifth. 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 And finally, the last piece is also equal to one fifth. They want to know what fraction of the is of the shape that is filled. Well, we only have one piece that is filled. So if there's only one piece that is filled, well, then this piece is equal to one fifth. So let's close our scratch pad, find one fifth, and that's right. Ooh, this is fun. This one is no longer a, a rectangle. This is a circle, but the same rules apply. So let's see how many equal parts our circle is split into. Well, we have one part here and two parts here. So even though it's a different shape, we still have two equal parts, which means that each part is just one of those two. So this side of the circle is equal to one half of the circle, and this side of the circle is also equal to one half. 
They want to know what fraction of the shape is filled. Well, that would be this part of our lovely circle. So this part is equal to one half. So let's close that scratch pad and find one half. Ooh, another circle, but this time it's split into more than just one piece. It is split into four equal pieces. So let's count them. So there's one, two, three, four equal pieces. So if there's four equal pieces, that means our denominator is equal to four because the whole is split into four parts. And one part would just be one fourth. So this piece is one fourth, this piece, is one fourth, this piece is one fourth, and this piece is one fourth. They wanna know which part is filled. That would be this part right here. So that part is worth one fourth. So let's close that scratch pad and find one fourth. Super. Another circle split into a different number of equal size pieces. So let's count how many pieces are in this circle. There's one here, there's two here, and there's three here. So this one is split into three equal parts. Our denominator is equal to three. So each piece is worth one of those three pieces. So this piece is one third, this piece is one third, and this piece is one third. So when I look, I know that the shaded piece is worth one third. So let's look and see if that's an option. It is. We're back to rectangles here. So this is asking us what fraction of the shape is filled. So my scratch pad is gonna help me decide how many equal parts. One, two, three equal parts. Then we know that our denominator is three. So one piece would be worth one of those three equal parts. So this piece is one third. This piece is one third, and this piece is one third. So the shaded piece, which is this one right here, would be equal to one third. So let's close, scratch pad. Now we're back to a circle. What fraction of this shape is filled? Well, this one is our circle. We can see that there's one, two, three equal parts. So we know our denominator is gonna be equal to a three, and one piece is one out of the three pieces or one third. So this is one third, this is one third, and this is one third. They're asking for what fraction of the shape is filled. So I'm gonna close my scratch pad. I'm gonna look at that, that piece that is filled. It's just one third, and there we go. Last question, we can do this. So now we have another circle. Let's see how many pieces it's split into. There's one, two, three, four. Hopefully you know by now that that means our denominator is going to be a four and one piece of the fraction is worth one fourth. This piece is one fourth. This piece is one fourth. This piece is one fourth. And this piece is one fourth. So what fraction of the shape is filled? Well, that would be one fourth. So let's close that scratch pad. Let's find one fourth. Here it is. Great job. I think we're really good at identifying fractions up to fourths. Nice work. Friends.